welcome to volume 33 of Nintendo Switch games that I definitely believe you should buy before they become rare and expensive. So not only do I have some really good ones saved for this video, but there's one game in particular which I've been trying to get my hands on for the longest time, and I finally did it. And when we get there, you'll know. So without further ado, feel free to sit back, relax, and let's dive into it. The first game I want to talk about today is Blue Fire. This game is amazing. So this game is an action-adventure platformer that combines vibrant visuals with engaging gameplay. Set in mysterious land, players control a character named the Forgotten One as they explore various realms filled with challenges and enemies. The platforming mechanics are smooth and responsive, making traversal enjoyable. The game features precise jumps and clever puzzles to test your skills. Combat is straightforward, allowing you to engage enemies with a mix of melee attacks and special abilities. The art style is a standout, featuring a striking combination of 3D environments and unique aesthetic that feels both whimsical and dark. Each area is beautifully designed, filled with hidden secrets and collectibles. While the narrative isn't the main focus, it provides a solid backdrop for the exploration and challenges. The lore is intriguing, encouraging players to uncover the history of the world. In conclusion, Blue Fire is a delightful experience for fans of platformers and adventure games. With its charming visuals, satisfying gameplay, and intriguing world, it's a great pick for those looking for a fun indie title. So yeah, this game is definitely amazing. It runs so fluid and so smooth on the Switch. I love it. If you're into platform games, this is one that you have to pick up. This is the first game that I highly recommend adding to your list. Game number two is gonna be Fallen Legion Revenant. This game is a unique action RPG that combines fast-paced combat with a rich narrative. Set in a dark fantasy world plagued by war, players navigate a gripping story filled with moral choices. The combat is engaging and requires quick reflexes. Players control multiple characters in real-time battles, switching between them to unleash powerful combos. The game also features a strategic element that decisions impact the story and characters' relationships. The hand-drawn art style is stunning, bringing the characters and environments to life. The atmospheric design enhances the game's dark tone, immersing players in its world. The narrative is complex and thought-provoking, exploring themes of loyalty and sacrifice. Players make choices that affect the outcome, adding depth to the experience. In conclusion, this game is an excellent choice for fans of action RPGs and narrative-driven games. With its dynamic combat, beautiful art, and compelling story, it offers a memorable adventure that keeps players engaged. If you enjoy a mix of action and storytelling, this game is for you. So this is a game that I've seen floating around every now and then, but I've never really heard anyone talk about it. And I'm surprised because it's made by NIS. And how I found out about this game was that I was at my local retro gaming expo about two weekends ago, and I stumbled upon this game and saw that it was listed for $17. I read the front, I looked at the back, and I saw that it was made by NIS. And I decided, hey, why not? I'll take a gamble on it. And man, did I win that gamble. This game is awesome. It definitely reminds me of Unicorn Overlord. If you're a fan of that game, you're definitely gonna love this one. So not only is the art and music in this game phenomenal, but the fact that it has full English dialogue is amazing. You're not gonna be reading at all in this game. And the voice acting is really, really good. So yeah, if you're into action RPGs with a twist of visual novels, but with full English dialogue, this game is definitely for you. This is a great one. I highly recommend checking out. Game number three is going to be Vampire The Masquerade, The New York Bundle, which I have the special edition for. Let me grab that. Boom. There is the special edition, which I got for a really good price too. I got it for around $30. It comes with two different games. So this game is a double pack. It comes with Quarteries of New York as well as Shadows of New York. So this is a narrative driven game set in the rich world of Vampire the Masquerade. This visual novel lets players explore the complexities of vampire society in modern day New York. The game focuses heavily on storytelling and players choices, allowing you to shape the narrative through your decisions. You can choose from different vampire clans, each with unique abilities and storylines, making each playthrough feel distinct. The art style is stylish and atmospheric, capturing the dark and moody essence of the vampire world. And the character designs are impressive, and the overall presentation enhances the immersive experience. The narrative is engaging, featuring political intrigue, personal conflicts, and moral dilemmas. 
it explores themes of power, loyalty, and the struggle for survival in a hidden society. In conclusion, Vampire the Masquerade is a must-play for fans of visual novels and the Vampire Masquerade franchise. With its compelling story, strong character development, and impactful choices, it offers a rich and engaging experience. If you enjoy deep narratives with a gothic atmosphere, this game is for you. So yeah, if anyone knows me, they know that I love horror, vampires, gothic vibes, and this game hits every single spot. And the art style is spectacular, it is so cool. And even though this is a visual novel, the pictures feel so alive, there's so much life to this game, it's incredible. If you're into 90s vampire movies and shows like Blade and Buffy, you're definitely going to love this one. This is another great one, I highly recommend checking out. Game number 4 is the game that was recommended to me by one of my subscribers. They go by the name Nix Pix, N-I-X-P-I-X, and that game is Sally Face. And this game looks awesome. Thank you so much for recommending this game, it's definitely on my list. Sally Face is a quirky indie adventure game that combines horror elements with a captivating story. Players take on the role of Sal, a boy with a unique appearance and a mysterious past. As he navigates through a strange apartment building, the game features point-and-click mechanics where you solve puzzles and interact with colorful characters. The story unfolds through various episodes, each filled with intriguing mysteries and challenges. The art style is amazing, using a mix of 2D and 3D graphics with a cartoonish dark vibe. This unique look complements the game's eerie atmosphere. The narrative is rich and engaging, exploring themes of friendship, loss, and the supernatural. In conclusion, Sally Face is a delightful blend of humor and horror, making it a standout indie title. With its engaging gameplay, memorable characters, and intriguing storyline, it's a great choice if you're a fan of narrative-driven games. If you enjoy unique tales with a dark twist, this game is for you. So yeah, thank you so much Nixpix for recommending this game, this looks awesome. The only downside about this is that on the eShop it's going for $20, which is definitely doable, but the physical version is $200. So yes, this game is definitely rare already as it is. But either way, this game looks amazing. And when I was actually doing more research on this game, I came across this interview with the developer, and it's actually really cool. He talks a lot about his experiences in his childhood, teenage years, and adult years, that led up to this game and inspired him to make this particular game. And it puts you into the mind of where he's coming from. But yeah, it definitely looks unique and I'm so stoked to finally play it. If anyone's played this game, please let me know how it is. I'm pretty excited about it. So yeah, this is another great one to add to your list. And last but not least is the game that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, which I'm super stoked to finally own. And that game is Shadowgate. So this game is a modern reimagining of the classic point-and-click adventure game. Set in a mysterious castle filled with puzzles and creatures, it challenges players to use their wits and items to progress. The interface is user-friendly, allowing you to easily navigate and interact with the environment. Puzzles range from straightforward to challenging, catering to both new players and veterans of the genre. The visuals have a charming, updated look while maintaining the eerie atmosphere of the original. The soundtrack enhances the experience, adding to the suspense and immersion. You play as a hero, tasked with defeating a dark sorcerer. The narrative unfolds through engaging dialogue and lore, keeping you invested in your quest. Overall, Shadowgate offers a nostalgic yet fresh experience, making it a great pick for fans of adventure games. Its blend of puzzles, atmosphere, and storytelling makes it a worthwhile addition to any Switch library. So yeah, I'm a huge fan of point-and-click adventure games, and this one is amazing. I was a huge fan of this game way back in the day, back in the 90s. This game originally released on NES as well as PC. And the art and the atmosphere nowadays is amazing. The art style reminds me of Magic the Gathering, and the lore of it reminds me of World of Warcraft, which is a great blend in my opinion. So yeah, if you enjoy games like this, this is another one that I highly recommend checking out. So like always, there's a bonus game that I want to talk about, and that game is Raynatus which I have the special edition for as well. Let me grab that. Boom! There's the special edition for Ray Nottis. It's got that beautiful box art, got the holographic going. I'm a huge fan of it. So if anyone knows me, they know that Kingdom Hearts is hands down my favorite video game series of all time. And apparently this game has a lot of ties to the Kingdom Hearts series. So this game takes place in Shibuya, Tokyo, modern day. A new law called the Criminal Magic Response Act has forbidden citizens from going out at night. 
Despite this, most people ignore the rule and enforcement is rare. Marin is a wizard who's faced oppression because of his magic. Inspired by his father's words, if you become the strongest, you will be set free. He arrives in Shibuya after dark. Sarai discovered her own magic powers and chose to use them to keep order. Guided by her sense of justice, she fights against dangerous forces and illegal drugs that turn people into monsters. As Marin seeks freedom and Sarai seeks justice, their paths cross in Shibuya, a vibrant city where cultures and ideas collide. This is where the story of Reynatus begins. So yeah, I've put about a few hours into this game so far, and I'm really enjoying it. It's very interesting. It's a bit different from what I'm used to, but it's a really good action RPG. The art style, the music, the characters, the world designs, everything is really, really good. And the one thing I love too is how Marin is like a mixture between Riku and Sora. It's like they got those two characters and blended them into one person. It's awesome. I don't want to spoil it too much more in case you guys want to play it, but I will say it's definitely worth playing, especially if you're a Kingdom Hearts fan. And one amazing fact as well about this game is that the same composers for Kingdom Hearts are also the composers for this game. So yeah, this is another one that I highly recommend checking out. Alright, there you have it. There's some more Switch games that I highly recommend checking out before they become rare and expensive. If there's other games you guys recommend I check out as well, please let me know in the comments below. I'm into anything and everything the Nintendo Switch has to offer. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please subscribe. I'm also going to leave a link in the description below where you can find a playlist that has all my Rare Game videos. Also, if you're on TikTok and Instagram, I'm on there as well. My name is Ghostlink. And with that being said, hope you guys have an amazing day, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Happy gaming, and God bless. Peace.